Colors, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Out Tarot. Here with the monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Sun, moon, and rising for the month of November. Um, remember Sagittarius, I'm still running that special. If you happen to be um, a Sagittarius, you're watching this, Sagittarius Sun, you get the discount of the spiritual analysis is discounted by 10 bucks. I'm still running a 30 for 30, 60 for 60, and I'm also still running a challenge. Whatever Zodiac sign gets the most views for the month of November, at the end of the month, I'm going to choose one free winner of one hour with me. You can use that in a spiritual analysis, a fly on the wall, or a divine partnership. Whatever way you want to use it, you can reserve it for later if you don't want to use it now because nothing's going on. Whatever, it's up to you, okay? Um, all you have to do is share this across all your social media hook up with your other Sagittarians you know listen run the views up so we can win and you need to comment down below in the comment section why you feel you deserve that one hour free with me okay you are in a vertex you are a fire sign so I will be pulling vice cards from the wisdom of the oracle spirit and universe what's the message you got for Sagittarius sun moon rising November 2020 with me Sagittarius Shuffle, here we go. <clears throat> Sagittarius, here we go. Ready? Ace of Cups. Queen of Wands. Six of Coins. The Magician. Under the Ace of Cups, we got the Six of Cups. So, okay. Under the Queen of Wands, the Empress. Okay. Under Six of Coins, the Hangman. And under the Magician, the Queen of Cups. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck for my Sagittarius for November. Ten of Wands. Okay. It's not too bad of a reading. We'll figure it out. Connect with me. Let me see the mind state of the Sagittarians going through this energy on the board. What's the mind state? Where's their mind at right now? What are they feeling? What's going on in their hearts? Let me see. Take this one. The hottest love has the coldest end. Oh, shit. Linda. Okay. And I need a vice card. This is from the Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron Reed. Give me the advice that you have for the Sagittarians that are going through the energy on the board. They need to pass this vertex. It's the last month. What advice could you give them about this partner that they're involved with, the situation? Show them. To the sea. First thing I want to say, excuse me, y'all. Looking at this card, it looks like somebody else's husband, somebody else's man, somebody else's wife, somebody else's girlfriend, some shit like that, okay? That's what I see here. We got the Ace of Cups and Six of Cups. This could be somebody that you've known from the past. You were dating from the past. They might be a Sagittarius like you. Or this could just be you. Maybe you are the wife and you're dealing with some interference with your husband from somebody he used to date in the past, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be the Sagittarius that's dating a married individual. It can be somebody else that's dating you, okay? All right, so with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups, this tells me that somebody from the past resurfaced in your life, bringing you new love, new bliss, feeling like you're ready to fall in love, something to that demeanor. Okay, you're feeling happy. You met up with somebody that you've known for a very long time. This could also sim be symbolic to Sagittarius. Spirit is trying to tell you that this man or woman that you're involved with has a ex or a wife or a husband. And that person happens to be Sagittarius just like you. Or it could be Aries. All right? Now, it could be Sagittarius. You found new love with somebody that you know for a very long time. However, there's still an involvement between this person and somebody from the past, okay? Another thing it could be telling you is that Sagittarius, while you might be falling for another Sagittarius or another Aries, there could be possibly a baby in the works that you don't know anything about, okay? We got the Six of Coins and the Hangman. So what this says is that this is a situation you cannot change. You cannot interfere with. You can't change. It's the Hangman there. So you can't change this type of situation, 
the magician and the queen of cups. I think that the person is with child, honestly. All right? Could be a Cancer Pisces that's pregnant by this person. Could be a Virgo Taurus, whatever. There is a child in this situation. Somebody's pregnant, okay? Looks like a third-party situation to me because the Ten of Wands would represent too many urns in a fire, too much shit on this person's plate in order to pay attention to them. Also, reading the cards, the advice cards, the coldest, the hottest love has the coldest end, meaning that everything seemed to be working out perfectly between the two of you, but it was a really, really rough breakup, okay? Let me get into this. Clarify the Queen of Wands for me. Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Take me to the Empress. Empress on the Empress. This is pregnancy. This is baby mama drama. Look, that's pregnancy. Baby mama drama. Somebody, look about the sun. Some of you may be finding out that the person that you've been involved with, you thought it was going to go somewhere, and then you end up finding out he got a, he got a woman and a baby on the way. Like, what the fuck? I mean, you, you, you lied to me. All right. Now, you could have found out the worst way because this person just backed off. They no longer call you. They no longer answer your texts or anything like that. Okay. It could be a situation like that. Give me this. Uh, let's go to the Queen of Cups. Take me to the Queen. Knight of Cups. Tell me more. Chariot. Tell me more. Go deeper. Hermit. Nine of Wands. Okay. This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I'm going to make it real quick because it's not a long reading. It's just very simple, straight to the point. I think I'm speaking to those of you that may be Sagittarius and you're dating, trying to date, or was recently dating an Aries or a Sagittarius. This is the person that you was crazy about you want to be with. The problem is that you don't know the whole story. This man has a wife. This woman has a husband. There is a child that is involved in the story, and it makes it almost impossible for you to have this person. However, spirit didn't leave you out of the loop because you got someone else that's trying to come in and make amends with you or fix something up. This person is Cancer Pisces, okay? Now, the thing about it is that it looks like this person may be coming from a distance. Maybe they live in another state other than you. They don't live where you live. So the majority of the relationship between you and this Cancer Pisces is spent alone. It's like, I like him or her, but we don't live in the same state and we can't really consummate. We can't touch each other. I can't really go to this person to hold me, you know, without having to make a whole lot of plans. So I like this situation because it's easier this is going to be for those of you that are Sagittarians and you're interrupting or interfering in another relationship that's going down that's what it is okay Another thing could be I may be speaking to Sagittarius and you're in a relationship maybe with your baby's mother um, somebody you have a child with recently and maybe somebody from the past has resurfaced that happens to be a water sign they want to still uh, talk to you. They want to get some sort of closure. There's something here, okay? Maybe you left them abruptly. You had a baby in their relationship and then you kind of cut them off and they weren't able to express themselves the way they needed to express themselves. And as of this month, November, this is going to be a problem and a headache for you. Problem and a headache for you probably because they're going to expose everything about you, Sagittarius. They're going to expose the way that you play games with them, okay? You, you told them that... You was with them or you wanted to be with them, but then you stepped out of the relationship and you started cheating with someone else. And this someone else may have had a child and maybe you don't even have a child with this cancer Pisces. So they don't feel that they even have a chance of winning you back, which is probably true because it kind of seems like you're focused on family right now and uh, prosperity and moving forward, okay, uh, with your family, taking care of your family. You're going to always choose this baby's mama, this wife, over whoever this person is, this girl, this cancer Pisces, okay? Um, yeah, so, so it's going a bunch of different directions, but the story still stays the same. I'm dealing with a, a Sagittarius that may have... Uh, a relationship with an Aries or another Sagittarius. They just recently had children with this person. They could be dealing with any other sign. It could be a, a Libra. Uh, let me see. We're not see Sagittarius. It could be Libra. It could be um, some sort of air energy. Give me this Empress. The moon. Tell me more. Five of Wands. Go deeper into that. I need to see who that is. The Will of Fortune. Okay, so... I think that why you're going through problems, Sagittarius, for my Sagittarius men, let's talk about men. 
Sagittarius men, you got a baby mama that you're with. You're with someone because you have children with this person. I think that recently you had some sort of problems, okay, in this relationship with happiness, okay? You weren't happy or you didn't feel wanted by whoever this person is, okay? Um, and, and, and maybe you did something that you're try, not trying to tell anybody. Maybe you went backwards and tried to reach into your ex-pal. And now your ex-pal is, is exposing you. You know, exposing that you're stringing them along or trying to get back with them. There's something like that that's going on. And I think that for a lot of you Sagittarius, there's some issues coming up this month for my Sagittarius. Um, due to the fact that there has been recent infidelity or even just you uh, considering cheating on your person. Okay? I hope I'm making sense with that. Because this is like... All over the place. Um, another thing, I think this person, whoever they are, they could be trying to come back to you. And they look like they live out of town. Maybe this is somebody you were with for a very long time. Right now, at the moment, it doesn't look like you're talking to them. But maybe they are trying to make their way back to you. Six of Wands. The Emperor. Okay, it could be they're trying to make their way back to you. Maybe because financially you're sitting real nice right now and, and they want a piece of that pie with that six of wands being there in the emperor. Maybe whoever the man is, and I think, like I said, I think I'm talking about Sagittarius men. Whoever the man is, maybe you didn't did well for yourself over the recent years. This was your girlfriend at one time, Cancer Pisces. Um, and she wants a piece of your pie because maybe she don't feel... She was, um, she had a fair chance, you know, like you didn't give her a fair chance. Probably because you left her for whoever this woman is. Give me that five of pentacles. This is, um, insubordinate from a job. That seven of swords being there, the star and the five of swords. This is, uh, leaving or walking away from a situation where you didn't learn all your lessons. So eventually, even though right now you might be avoiding it, trying to avoid it at all costs, something's stirring in your mind and your heart with this ex, okay? There is still a piece of you that is still attached to this ex that you have been trying to bury and just focus all your energy on whoever this woman is that you have a recent child with or little kids with, um... You've been trying to focus on just this woman, but deep down inside, something's hurting you. And I bet you a million dollars, what is hurting you is the way that you left that situation. Because she's not over the way that you left her for someone else. And you probably became a father. Maybe she got problems. She can't make kids or something. Something's wrong here. Okay? Something's wrong. I say that because I'm looking at this and it looks like um, the whole issue between you and your ex, Sagittarius, is the fact that you did the unthinkable with someone else. You got the star five of swords. Probably she can't make children. You made children with someone else, and this is how this woman won you, okay? Even though this woman may have won you because you got kids by this woman, it doesn't stop your heart venturing out to the whoever this ex is, okay? Something's wrong there. Maybe I'll title this message, I Still Think About You, because you still think about whoever this person is, despite the fact of what you have to say face and you have to act a certain way. I think you're still in love with this woman secretly. Give me the six of coins, or a man, it could be a man too. Give me the six of coins. Yep, look at that, five of cups, there it is. Empress, queen of swords, okay? I think, I'm telling you, you are... Sagittarius, your new baby mama, baby father is Libra or Gemini. You're getting some interference from an ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend who you still have feelings for because you, you, it, you know what it looks like? It looks like, you know how you have problems with your relationship and you say, let's take a break. And in the midst of you taking a break, you get into a situation like, damn, I didn't expect to get this person pregnant. I didn't expect that, you know, I was going to have to stay with this individual. That's what it looks like. You didn't have any intentions on staying with whoever this Libra Gemini is. But due to the fact that maybe you got pregnant, there's a pregnancy here, a child there. Now you're forced to get rid of whoever this Five of Cups is. That Five of Cups could be Cancer Pisces, maybe Scorpio. Look at that Five of Swords. Look how this energy is moving. Two of Swords. You forced yourself to get over this person because you had no other choice. The Knight of Wands. Although you had no other choice, 
um, there's still secretly something in your mind where you still want to go back and test the waters. I'm going to tell you not to do that, Sagittarius, because I think that this woman's going to talk too much. Okay? Or man. So even though you still find yourself... See, you, I don't give a shit what situation you find yourself in. When you love somebody, you can't just throw that shit out the window. You love them. Okay, and I think that what, what's going on, Sagittarius, is Spirit is trying to warn you for the month of November, you are doing everything in your power not to revisit uh, the feelings that you had for this previous ex. I think they're making some sort of noise or some sort of ruckus. They want you back. They want into the situation. They want a piece of the pie. Because of the way that you handled yourself, I think that you left your ex for a Libra or a Gemini, and maybe you found there, there's a pregnancy in the midst of that. So at this time, you cannot go back to this person, but it is not stopping you from thinking about digging in that old pond. You want to. You are fighting against it. You really want to dig in that old pond. I think for a lot of you Sagittarius, you are going to dig in that old pond, and that's why this Ten of Wands pops up because you're going to go back you're going to as much as you are trying to be a faithful man or woman to this libra gemini sagittarius i think that you're going to go back and dig in that pond especially if she is a cancer pisces because you can't get over uh maybe the way things happen it wasn't your intention to get the libra gemini pregnant or have kids with this person and be stuck with this person maybe you were just playing around not taking anything serious and you really love that Cancer Pisces. Maybe you guys have been together for many years. And the way things happen, you had no choice but to break it off. But you still want to go back and dip. Okay? I'm just going to leave it there. Now, let's go into this card. To the sea. What is this talking about? Card number seven. Here we go. It says, being in flow. Returning to source. Recognizing how pieces fit together. A natural pattern of events. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to enrage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. I'm going to read the relationship part too. It says, there are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than to dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. Trust me on this. I feel in my heart, my soul, I think Sagittarius, you're in a relationship that really doesn't make you happy. But due to the circumstance, you have to act as if it makes you happy. Then you have, um, remember, you're in the vertex. So the vertex is going to pull whatever it is that you didn't shut the door on. So even though you try to claim that you're happy, you're with a Libra or Gemini, and, and, and this is what you really wanted, no, the fuck, it's not, Linda. Okay, I will challenge anybody that tells me that you're very happy with the choice you made. No, you're not. You're not happy with the choice you made and you think about dipping back into that pond every now and then because you're not over that person. Some things in life happen and we don't have any control over it. And as much as we try to uh, fix it, it doesn't work out that way. Okay, I think you're going to, before November is over, I think you're going to dip back in the pond. I'm telling you not to do that because whoever this ex is, is very boisterous. And I think that they are, they're hurt because maybe you left them for that other person and they are going to get even. So I'm telling you, no, don't do it. All right. Like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, hit your notification bell, you need a personal reading, all seeing out tarot at gmail.com in the subject line, make sure you put which reading you want to book. If you want to win that free one hour, share the video with all your Sagittarians in the comment board, let me know you're a Sagittarius, and also let me know why you feel you need that one hour. Until next time, thank you so much, Sag.